Here on Breakfast, Lee Mead's going to be here to tell us how he's discovered there is life after Joseph. We knew that. He's got a new production out, but it's not a musical. Is that right? He's not singing. <laughs> You're not talking about the, the baby no, that's on the way. No. Not that production. Steady. Uh, stage. Stage, <laughs> stage production. production. <laughs> Trying not to get new traveling weather where you are. What do you like? Honestly, that's a production. it's a family that's pro a production. Well, not exactly. The actor and singer Lee Mead is here. Good morning. morning, Lee. Hello. Is it. What's the date today? The 11th. Is it? 12th. 12th. It's the 11th today. It's 11th. Yeah. It's yeah. a year and a day. Is it a year and a day since you left Joseph? I think it is actually. Yeah, good, yeah I've got it all good sort of stacked <laughs> up in here. Good Lord. It's been just over a year. Really? And, and you've been so doing a lot since happened. then, yes. haven't you? I'm very busy. Yes. yes. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a moment. He sounds like a stern uh, uncle, I know. doesn't he? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I've been very busy. Talk about <laughs> what you've been doing. <laughs> you didn't take any of my advice, and look what's happened. <laughs> Firstly, here's a last quick look at what's happening where you are. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Welcome back. He won the nation's heart as winner of the BBC's hit show Any Dream Will Do. He went on to see his name up in lights playing Joseph in London's West End and found time to release two studio albums and get married. Now, Lee Mead is taking on a new challenge with his first ever stage play touring venues in England, Scotland and Wales. It's an Oscar Wilde drama called Lord Arthur Savile's Crime. Lee's here to tell us more. Hello, Lee. Hello. And it's the day before, isn't it? It because is, yes. It's tomorrow night's the first night. I'm straight to Windsor after, after this chat and right. teching all day today and then first show tomorrow evening. So. And how are you feeling about it? Very excited. Yeah, it's my very first play as well. Mm. And um, I've been studying hard and prior to rehearsals. And you, uh, and you are open. Lord Arthur Savile. I am. Are you yes. not? Lord I put it to you. Arthur Savile. Yes. yes. And, and what, what's his crime? Well, his crime is that he's to commit a murder. And uh, it's a comedy, so it's very light, but um, the, play, the, play, the play is based on fate. And I am told by clairvoyant, uh, Gary Wilmot actually, who plays Mr. Podgers, that I'm to commit a murder. And uh, I'm due to marry my fiance, Miss Sybil Merton. And I basically have to knock somebody off until I can marry Miss, Miss Sybil Merton. So mm. it's, uh, it's very funny, and there's lots of um, characters involved. And, uh, based on my plot to, to try and find yeah. somebody to kill. Now, you so. say it's your first stage play, and you, you've mm. actually done some... When you say you've been working quite hard to make sure it works, you went abroad, didn't you, to, to study film and to learn that yep. kind of acting? I did, yeah. After the show finished, uh, Joseph, I, I released a second album, and then I went straight to uh, New York for just under three months to study. I just thought that if, if I'm going to take this seriously, it's important to put some work in. So uh, I was doing, like, you know, nine, ten hours a day on scripts and work on camera as well. And, and that's uh, what you want to do, sort of move from the musicals into stage plays and then television um, and film? Not really. I, I'd like to come back and do a, a show again, um, but it's just nice to try and, uh, um, things that are new, really, I guess, mm. like a, a nice play or some TV work. Mm. And so you haven't felt try and, try and branch thing out slightly. Where you're in the, middle of the, in the middle of the drama and rehearsal, you're suddenly, I wish I could burst into song. I know, I, I relieve I the fancy a song, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. We're going to let you do that now through okay. the magic of television. Here you are as some bloke called Joseph. OK. I Subsequently won. And Denise, yes. who is now your lovely wife. She is. And you're yeah. expecting a baby. I am. Was, was a judge birth. there. And when you were doing the Joseph stuff and she was a judge, you were going out then or not? No, no not, not at all. Um, no, because that would be I know. against the rules, surely. <laughs> surely against the rules, yes. It was a few months after the programme finished and uh, I asked her to dinner, obviously. And um, th three years on, or two, two and a half years on, we're married with uh, our first baby. So it's. Do you Mom's. win? I feel very lucky that, you know, I found my wife as well as playing Joseph as well. Yeah, it's incredible, yeah. really. And the baby's due? Uh, first week of May, yes. It's our first one. Gosh, so. how much your life has changed <laughs> in four years. It's very different. It's incredible, really. I mean, it's a drama in, it, in itself in many respects. To, just think of, of tomorrow night and your opening night. I mean, presumably, actually, it shouldn't hold too many terrors for you because if ever there was pressure on somebody, it must have been you as Joseph that opening oh, night in the West End. Th that was pressure, yeah, indeed. It was, um, I, I won the show in, in the evening and straight to rehearsals for, I think, a week and a half or two weeks rehearsal. 
and then straight into the West End for the first show. So mm. it was uh, a fun time, though. It was an amazing period. I, I look back with great memories. Yeah. So. But doing Oscar Wilde is sort of slightly different territory I mean, so in terms of the stage language. As much yes, as it else. really is. I, I, I was just saying, um, I, I've done lots of work with the director, Christopher Luscombe, on the script because it's, it's like Shakespeare, I guess, in the sense that you really need to understand what, what you're delivering. Mm. It's, with the more contemporary, modern kind of play, it's, it's fairly straightforward, but with Oscar Wilde, it's a, a new language in itself. So I was there for a good four weeks prior to the first rehearsal. You have done all your homework, Reading you? the books and everything, yes. Really? <laughs> so you must have, yeah. There must be a set of nerves there as well, because you've done that, you kind of mastered the musical, and mm. now you've set yourself another challenge. A, a new challenge doing this. again. Yeah. yeah, of course I'm, sl I'm slightly nervous. I think it's, it's, it's natural, but um, I'm sure we're more, sure more excited though, really. So. Good. You'll be marvellous. Yeah. You will. You'll be marvellous. And on tour. I can't wait. So. Good stuff. Lee, thanks very much. Thank Good you. luck with it. Thank you very really. much. Really. You can see... And with the baby. Yes, thank you. You can see Lee in Lord Arthur Savile's Crime from tomorrow night at the Theatre Royal Windsor, and thereafter at venues throughout the country. Well, actually, uh, England, Scotland, Wales. Yes. Is that right? That's, yeah. that's correct. Until May. Long run. Oh, hmm. dear.